any moment now. We are also keeping our eye on an event in North Carolina that is set to start in just a half an hour. That is when Hillary Clinton will be campaigning with Michelle Obama, arguably her most popular surrogate for the first time this election cycle. It's where we find NBC's Chris Jansing, who is joining me now from the site of that rally in Winston-Salem. Chris, talk to me about the timing here. This is happening, what, 12 days out from Election Day. Kind of feels like a, an all-out push now from the Clinton campaign to put their best people out front. What's your take? Yeah, and look, this is also the day when early voting expands across North Carolina. And when you have the three marquee races for president, for governor, for senator, all too close to call, turnout is everything. In fact, the person riling up the crowd right now is a local assemblywoman who's talking about that. But look at the crowd way up until the upper balcony, up into the rafters. Some of these folks waited from last night. A lot of them came before dawn this morning. The message is simple. Get out and vote. Doesn't help if they're Hillary supporters. You'll hear from the campaign folks if they don't actually cast their ballots. Patsy Kieber is the head of the Democratic Party in North Carolina, has been really involved in these efforts. Will this be the difference, these GOTV efforts in, in the three critical races in North Carolina? I think they will. The coordinated campaign has just been excellent throughout the state. The, the, the Clinton campaign working you with you folks in the state. Exactly. And working all the way down the ballot. That's one of the things I love about the Clinton campaign is that they are concerned about down the ballot races as well. So we're very excited. Tell me a little bit about the women in this race. You have a Senate candidate. It's a very close race. When you look at the numbers, and we have some we can show people, whether it's the House, whether it's the Senate, whether it's state legislators, none of them have more than 25 percent women. What kind of message does it send to see two women like Hillary Clinton and Mrs. Obama on stage today? Oh, it is so exhilarating, Chris. It's uh, just, you can hear the excitement in the crowd. There are so many women here. There are women in my generation that have been waiting a long time for this, and we're very, very excited. Michelle Obama is a role model for every person in the whole United States. Hillary Clinton has worked all her life. We are just thrilled to death, and we can't wait to vote. And the most important thing is for everybody to get out and vote. Patsy, thank you very much. It's the message.